If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Ahema. If you are a returning subscriber, hey! I feel like we like one size on this channel, right? Because majority of the products that we've tried from one size has been good to us. If we like the products, we use it. If we love the products, we use it over and until it's done, okay? One size has been consistent in the quality and the description matching the performance of their product. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a brand new product that has launched to one size. But before we jump into the product, everything I'm going to be using in this video will be linked right here. So tap the view product tag and you can shop directly from the brand's website, any other preferred retailer. Of course, YouTube has actually done the price comparison for you. So you don't have to search several different sites to find the best pricing. Now my plan is to actually use this product. Super Mario the movie launched today so we're going to be taking the kids out to watch it. So we're going to be doing a wear test and see what my face looks like after. Okay so let's go ahead and jump into those products. We're going to be moving very fast. This is, so this is a one size secure the sweat dry till dawn primer. I want to tell you guys about this product and then we're going to jump into it. I always want to know if the claims match the product. Let's see it says secure the sweat dry till dawn primer. Facts about the primer it says that it's sweat proof waterproof shine proof. Honey like I'm a shiny queen, okay? I have comments on my page and all people say to me is, oh my god, you're so shiny. Thank you. I know you mean that's an insult, but thank you. It says 12 hour oil resistant shine control modifying power. Hmm. Hmm. Every time I do a primer review or a foundation review, I always say that I don't expect one single product to control my oils and my shine the whole time because I know that they're going to break through. I don't really sweat on my face, so it's not a thing that I'm like worried about. Like it's, it's not a thing for me, okay? For the sake of trying something out just to see if it actually works and for the sake that summer is coming up and you know the temperatures are going to be hot 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 i want to know if this will actually work okay it says that it's formulated with botanical ingredients as an alternative to aluminum this primer absorbs excess sweat and oil to intensely modify and prolong makeup wear the direction says squeeze a dime size drop onto fingertips warm it up and press into skin before makeup pro tip secure the sweat and wait one minute for formula to dry before applying makeup product so this product is saying that it's been clinically tested. Clinical results in a consumer perception study. Okay, so 94% agree that they no longer sweat off makeup. Primer provides a long-lasting matte finish and makeup stays locked in place. So it tells on the top that this product is a mattifying product. This is very different from his first initial primer, which is Secure the Blur, which is in like a plastic type of a container. This container is different. I wish it came with one of those things that helps you push the products out. That would have been really, really nice. But my tip to you is if you're going to be using this, just fold it as you go. That way you can, you know, get all the products out. Don't push it like I did because as soon as I punctured it, a bunch of product came out. Oh no. I'm gonna have to do my makeup for the next two days so I can use all this product. I'm just gonna apply this all over my face. I do get oily, okay? I'm a very oily person. Like that is, it's just a thing. Um, so because of that, I'm very skeptical about products that tell me that they can control my oil. But this one is saying that it can do both the oil control and sweat control. I'm gonna make sure to put some around the corners of my nose. First things first, have you, are you noticing that this product hasn't turned my face casket white? Like my face is not looking white. Sometimes some mattifying primers, you put the primer on and because it's a mattifying primer, it, it just makes your face look white and you have to go back in and cover it with a foundation. This one hasn't done that, which is making me think that even on days that you don't put makeup on and you don't want your face to sweat, you can still use this product and it's still gonna help you. That's if it actually does prevent sweating and oiliness. It says to let it sit for a minute, so that's what we're gonna do, which is gonna let it sit for a quick second. Okay, one size. Um, This has been on my face for a minute, like a minute as in like five minutes because I had to go wet my sponge. My face is still looking very much like I only have moisturizer on. It doesn't feel tight 
doesn't feel stiff it doesn't even feel powdery like how you feel when you have a like a mattifying product on that makes your face feel kind of like you have powder on your face it doesn't feel like that so at this point i'm very skeptical and i'm wondering what this mattifying power is going to come from like guys like i don't mm. We're going to be using the Sephora Collection Best Skin Ever. Okay, so this is the deepest shade that they offer. I feel like spray my face with the one size setting spray so that I can like hold everything in place. I'm not very... I have trust issues, okay? So I'm really not trusting this primer right now. Why does my hair look like this? That part of my forehead is looking weird. Do you see it? Okay, we're going with the Sephora Collection Best Skin Ever Concealers. I have two concealers here. This is the shade 59. It's a very brightening concealer on me, so I will use it in a little bit. I'm actually going to go in with 66.5 as my concealer shade. Okay, if you want a little bit more of that extra oomph, you can use a little bit of that very bright concealer. Okay, we're going to go in with the one size setting powder, and this is the, sh and this is the shade Deep Dark, okay? First time I tried this powder, I don't remember what I thought about it, but I haven't used this since that time. And I know that I have it and I've heard really good things about it. So I was like, let me go back and try it again because I don't know why I wasn't using it. But look how smooth my under eyes look. I'm also filming another video right now. So I'm going to bake with the powder. I'm going to go in with one size uh, made for shade. This is the shade Deep Trio. I'm going to be using the one size Until Dawn Setting Spray. It's almost done. Lord, I have to pick one up at the Sephora sale. Mm, nothing's coming out. I need something liquid. <laughs> okay, you guys. So this is my face. The time is now 1.01. Um, consider this our hour one of wear testing primer i have some thoughts on this i will tell you the time is now 11 01 i left at 101 i finished my face at 101 i came back at 11 01 it has been one two three it has been 10 hours since i finished my makeup i can't wait till 12 hours like i feel like 10 hours should be a good enough amount of time for you to see what my face looks like and for you to be able to judge whether or not this product is good enough for you to pick up and for us to decide whether or not it can actually live up to the claims that it has on the product. First impressions. Whenever I put it on, my face looked like I had moisturizer on. So I was very skeptical as to whether or not it was actually going to be able to do the things that it said that it can do. That being said, this is what my skin is looking like. My makeup looks used for lack of a better word i feel like i can see lines right here very clearly um like when i turn to the side there is some kind of a separation happening here it's happening here it's happening here you can clearly see the lines right here it's like very very prominent and i hate this view of my face but you know i'll do it for you and i can see something around here as well and whenever i was actually doing my brows and and you know like filling my brows it felt it i could see that the product was like rolling on my face so i don't know if it's an interaction with my skincare routine that's causing the primer to behave in that rolling manner i don't know if that's what that's like what's causing this i don't want to say separation but like i don't i feel like separation is the right word for it and whenever i initially put it on you could tell there was a patch here it's that same kind of patch that i have on the sides of my face this is my face as far as the oils go my oils did come through but for 10 hours of wear and i did not touch my face i think it looks really really good i feel like there is like big potential i am willing to try it again with my toner you don't want to put anything else on my skin actually i'm not even going to use my toner i am going to use this product again i'm going to cleanse my skin i'm going to pat it dry the very next and only product i'm going to be using is going to be this one so we can see how it actually behaves but for my first impressions i feel like it could be a lot better um i don't know if maybe they can put a recommendation of 
But if you use if you're using this product, don't use it with A, B, C, D, E, F, G types of ingredients because then it can cause this kind of a reaction. I do have a review of the Sephora Collection Foundation and Concealer by itself. You can see that it's a beautiful foundation. It stays in place. Everything is on point. So for it to behave like this, it has to be because of the new product that was introduced into the mix which is the primer for me if i wasn't like willing to try this product again i'll give it a second chance as it stands right now i would say no to it because of how my makeup looks my makeup does not look like this on the daily with any other primer but this specific day it just did not look okay that is it as far as the oils it did control oils um my oils are controlled but the makeup like the makeup did not stay exactly where i thought it would stay and that is a big issue for me okay so this is me with half of my face blotted you can see that it doesn't look like a 10 hour wear type of oily it looks more like a four hour wear type of oily and that is impressive so that's it for me thank you guys so much for watching love you lots i'll see you in my next video bye